Now to major developments in a vicious attack on a young woman in her dorm room at UBC. An international student who lived on the floor above her is facing numerous charges, including attempted murder. As Mi Jung Lee reports, we're hearing from the students who heard the screams and came running to help. Students living in residence at UBC are shocked that one of their own is accused of viciously attacking another. When he talked to him, he was really nice, friendly. And I didn't really think when we had a conversation, and we actually had a lot of, lot of conversations together, I didn't think there was anything really wrong with him. 18-year-old Thomer Almastadi is charged with attempted murder, assault with a weapon, and aggravated assault. The first-year student from Saudi Arabia lived on the fourth floor of Salish House. The alleged attack happened on the third floor, Tuesday, 11.30 a.m. Witnesses say the suspect had a knife and the victim's neck was partially cut. She's also a first-year student. I tried to get his hands off of her neck, but he was holding quite tightly. Um, so I had to go to him and put him in a, a chokehold. That's extraordinary, and, and we really do applaud the students. Adam Casey, a first-year engineering student, credits his martial arts training for his quick actions in rescuing the victim. You weren't scared? Uh... Didn't think. Not enough time to be scared. It was a pretty traumatizing day yesterday. Like, I had a math quiz, couldn't really concentrate on it. Um, but I think I'm doing a little better now. Uh, I'm just happy, like, he got caught. Alma Stadi remains in custody. I can also confirm that the university has banned the suspect from returning to campus. The victim was rushed to hospital. She's expected to make a full recovery, thanks to students who rushed in to help. And Mijang, what else have you learned about this young man who's been charged? Well, his dorm mates say that he was friendly, polite to everyone on the floor. They did notice some strange behaviors. Uh, some people saw him pacing around the dorm at all hours of the night. He'd complain sometimes about being stressed about schoolwork. But no one could predict that he'd now be facing such serious criminal charges. Tamara? Thanks, Mee-Jung.